Do you ever feel like you get caught up in your emotions for situations that really don't deserve your time? Do you maybe get worked up and then lose sleep or over events or situations or people that don't really even matter? Have you ever thought of your emotions as part of a bank account? Maybe it's time to look at your emotions differently. I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. So what we're talking about today is invest your emotional energy wisely. So why is it so important to keep track of your emotions? Well, they can be downright right exhausting. <laughs> oh, just being like worked up all the time, it just wears you out, right? Can you imagine the cortisol and the adrenaline just pumping through your body and then landing around your waistline? Yeah, I can. So that's one of the reasons to keep track of our emotions. Also, they, our emotions hold lessons. They can show us unhealed parts or areas, you know, where we may have triggers. Those are opportunities for growth and change. Also, um, it just kind of comes down to that lots of situations and people don't deserve our emotions and our stress and our time. So here's a couple quotes. It's a waste of emotional energy to spend it on situations you cannot change, things you cannot control, and people that don't matter. Invest wisely. J. Mike Fields. You only have so much emotional energy each day. Don't fight battles that don't matter. Joel Olstein. So two really good quotes there talking about um, kind of the idea that you have like this emotions like bank account and you know what you're you're putting out each day could really drain that bank account so on a scale of 1 to 10 how often do you actually go into the red in your emotional bank account and how could you better manage your emotional account i've got you three ways today three ways to better manage your emotional account Number one is timing. So this is a big, big one. Um, so this summer, my little um, guilty pleasure is I'm watching um, the Housewives of Orange County. I'm catching up some seasons that I haven't seen from the past as I run on my elliptical. And... Um, one thing about that show is there's a, it's, it's to stir up drama. I mean, I'm sure you know that, but, um, some of the worst drama gets stirred up after they've had like five tequila shots, right? So this is kind of what I'm talking about with the timing thing. You want to really stay away from situations when you're already run down or you're already four tequila shots in. Okay. It's all about timing. Because if you're going to have a conversation that's been back here in your subconscious for a while with somebody else, do it from a rested, clear, centered spot. Um, then there's less, less emotional disturbance. Okay, number two, space. Get out of the situation and give yourself some space to do some accounting. Now, this is something that I heard of, you know, probably 15 years ago. And I was like, what? Why didn't somebody tell me this before? And I'm still practicing this skill because this is an interesting one to learn uh, in your adult life, which is just making a comment like, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to need a little bit of time to get back to you on that for an answer. What? That's a perfectly respectable response. I'm going to need a minute. I'm going to think about that for a little bit. I'll let you know tomorrow. For some reason, I always felt like um, it was like some big quality to be able to like right away give somebody an answer. And then you turn around and you're like, why didn't I just say that? Why did I just link myself into that? Why did I just say yes to that? Because I didn't give your, yourself the space. Okay, so you have my permission 
to start using that phrase. Oh, that's a great question. I'll get back to you in a few hours about that. Yep. <laughs> All right. And then number three, prioritize and then say no. Um, where, what? You have to actually prioritize where do you want to give your emotions to? Where and who and what do you want to actually be invested in? That's your choice. It's not other, buddies, other people's choices. That's your choice. So you need to prioritize where you want to actually invest that. And on places where you don't, then you need to say no. Okay, say no to the rest. So circling around, invest your emotional energy wisely, like it was a bank account. Which of these three tips can you start using today? All right, so here's our intention for today. I choose to invest my emotional energy wisely. All right, did this resonate with anybody? Does anybody need to hit me up for a session and work on this? Because this is a big one. Don't hesitate to reach out in the comments or check my website for a session. And then also make sure that, you know, you go through the other videos on YouTube and you might find another one that resonates with you. That's Sage Robinson Miller on YouTube. I appreciate you growing with me. Thanks so much for all your time and bring, showing up, bringing your heart. I appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Love you.